Well check this out, end of September. A lovely weather we've got. It's getting a bit cold in the morning so I put my muffs back on. They're only mounted on the bar ends and the rest of it's just all strapped up. So I've had to add a uh, tie, cable tie. So when you get a move on and the wind hits the front of the muff, it, it pushes it down into the levers. So I've just um, helped to stop that. I've put a plastic tie on. Ah, oh, the horses are out. There's a picture here. Ah, oh, the grass is too tall. Anyway, yeah, these Tuzo hand muffs, you can get them without the, the clear plastic view window, which I suggest you do because the plastic don't last too long once you start cutting it about. Or if you are going to cut a hole, don't do it through the plastic, do it through the... Well, I was saying that the overhang on the plastic, can you see, is, is really sharp on the back, on the back of your hand sometimes. Whoa! Always cool, the amount of people I see on their phones is ridiculous. I can watch somebody drive towards me for a good 20, 30 metres and they don't look at the road once. They're just staring down, texting. Right, here we go again. Another, another day in the bag. Because this guy is indicating. So I've been riding bikes for about 30 years now, nearly every day. And I've gained a few tips about staying safe. But the main thing is um, always be ready to stop. And stay away from other road users, because most of them are out to kill you. But it isn't their fault, it's, um, they're just like daydreaming, they can see you and they pull out anyway, so it's, um, you just got to be ready for it, it's not no use getting upset with them. That car's looking to overtake that tractor, oh my god what an idiot, <laughs> there's a farm out there, it's a bit, it's a bit close to that tractor, um, so yeah I'll stay back. But you always want to, yes, yeah, stay stay back away from other road users. If you just wait, mate, you ain't gonna get past. I don't want you keep looking. <laughs> um, so that white car could do something silly soon, and uh, we're all crossing over. So like now I think that tractor's going to go up here and uh, cross over potentially. I'm just going to wait here, let it all happen. I don't want to be sat in the middle of a dual carriageway with a tractor, especially at this junction. It's hideous. There's police tape here. There's halt, there's <laughs> signs, bits of car.
Yeah, I've got space. There's a there's holes in the hedges, police tape there. Hole in the hedge there, police tape. Knocked over bollards. Bits of car. It's a nightmare here. We got through unscathed though. So in in towns and stuff, I'll um, I'll keep a, a good distance between me and the car in front, and uh, not too much, so the car thinks they can put out. There's a gap, but I'll leave a fair distance, um, just so that the car in front can progress without worrying about what I'm going to do. Um, and I, I've noticed when a bike, when I'm driving my car and there's a bike behind me, I'm all, I seem to be watching the bike more than the road ahead of me because it's um, so close. And I, I'll often um, just hang back from cars, seem to make better progress if you're. Uh, out of their mind and letting them concentrate on the road ahead. So there's a little tip for you. Alright, so I keep keeping a space now. Just not not riding right up behind the car. These, these, these halogen lights, not halogen, are they? They're LED. So the LED lights have got are quite bright. They can see me, they can see that I'm here. The things always look closer in the mirrors. The horses are out again. And also li living here, there's a lot of unsure drivers. So you've got a lot of Americans from the air bases. You want to give them a bit of uh, a bit of leeway. So I'm sure if I was in the States, I wouldn't um, last long on their roads. That's a shitty old house, isn't it? That's worth a few quid. giving the car in front uh, as much space as I would like. The traffic snares up quite a lot here. Usually keeps moving though. Sophie's. Oh, bless. There is a crossing up there, probably they'd be better off crossing up. Oh, they did get across. Bella Pizza had a fire. Don't know if they'll bother opening up again. Yep, go on then. They've been probably waiting there ages. It's a week in the bag, Friday. Glasses in there. Got my uh, other glasses. My sunglasses that I wear. Uh, these ones, yep. Yeah. They're good. They're like polarised. So you can see through car windows lovely not too dark 
Here's my bike key. There it is. Good. Nice, quiet little back road. This can get interesting when it's um, back. On a Friday, there's loads of people going to centre parks, trying to get, uh, that's why it's busy on a Friday, got a lot of holiday traffic, we've got Elverdon centre parks up the road, but thank you. That was nice of them. See all these people are going around that traffic. And then they're gonna to have to queue up at the next entrance to that. That road flows along quite nicely. It used to be dead stop. Uh, they're opening up a uh, new five guys up at the five ways. That's gonna be a nightmare, that's gonna back the traffic going in there is gonna back out onto the A11 I imagine. So there's a drive through as well, but it's not a very big site. So, oh, a siren. Oh, I'll see if we can get through Mildenau unscathed. Another good tip um, for staying safe on a bike is uh, use hand signals wherever possible. And I don't use them all the time, I use my indicators combined with hand signals. You never know if someone's blinded by the sun. Bad place. Papa John's. Tattoo piercing. I'll leave this gap here in case the delivery driver comes in. New Turkish restaurant. Looks shit. Pharmacy with a funeral director next door <laughs> pit stop sells a bit of everything in there see if we can see any nice cars not bad No, nothing special here. There was a lot of traffic today. Oh, cheeky.